Hi, this is Exploring with Emma Stu. And today we're back doing a bit of military. We've come to Suffolk to explore this World War II gun battery. And we're going to give you a little bit of information about it now. During 1940, British anti-invasion preparations against the Germans was at its peak in response to the large possible threat of invasion. The rapid construction of field artillery and fortifications transformed much of the UK, especially around the East Coast, which were identified as being the most vulnerable to invasion. One of the many defences constructed was the two gun emplacements here, just outside the village of Holsley in Suffolk, thought to be built to help protect the local coastline. Likely armed with two ex-Royal Navy six-inch guns, they're most unusual in that their gun houses, which were arranged end-to-end, -end, were located in such a way that they would be unable to fire directly towards the coast. Instead, their field of fire was an unusual arc which mainly faced inland, which is unlike any other gun site in the county. And why it's constructed like this is rather a mystery. Right, okay, so we're approaching the first part of the good condition part mm. of the gun battery. And uh, it's very impressive, I must yeah. admit. These are not in the best of conditions. We've certainly explored better ones. But this one isn't too far away from where we live, so we thought we'd come and take a look at it. Exactly, so let's go. semi gun as they often were. Here we go. Right, the light's picking up yeah. well in here. And the first room we have is what we believe is a crew shelter. Um, these would have often have had a command post, crew shelters, ammunition lockers. It's pretty standard, really, for what we expect from a World War II gun battery. Um, not an awful lot to show you in this one. But they are blast walls, right? I believe behind this would have been a blast, blast walls. wall. Just you here. You just about see it out of the window behind the vegetation. And the tree, Yeah. obviously. <laughs> and um, also, we've had a little dig around and we've uncovered what would have likely have been um, a heath for a fire. Yeah, just here. Ventilation flue just above it, so that's a good telltale sign that this was definitely some sort of crew room because they wouldn't have had heating, would they have not? No. Uh, I think they've had metal, metal windows in them once upon a time. Yep. Obviously, they've all I can't all see gone. no electrical hooks mm -hmm. in here. There could be. They could have once upon a time been something mounted up here. Mm. These have been pretty well stripped out, unfortunately. Like I said, all the metal windows. They would have had uh, doors. Door frames Very likely metal doors on them. Unfortunately, this area is terrible for fly tipping. Believe it or not, this is the better one of the two we're yeah. showing you. And we will give a glimpse of the other one, yeah. I think. But let's uh, have, have a look in the, the gun shelving area. Yeah, the next room. So we'll come out here. Uh, here we go. go. Ammunition lockers. Ammunition lockers. Again, very standard. We've seen these many a times. This is actually a little bit more complete than some of the ones we see. Yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. There you go. And um, I imagine, again, they they would have had some sort of door on them maybe to protect them a little bit. Yeah. Um, but we also have lockers on the outside, which we will go and take mm -hmm. you. I mean, obviously, you can see where there's some ventilation holes. Yeah, I imagine some sort of ventilation. Ventilation and that. They would have had some sort of grill over them. Again, they're all gone. Absolutely. So we'll come out, come out here. Down here, we're, we're going up. Oh. Into. We're going onto the gun platform now. And here he is. The big six pounder gun should have been here, is that right? Apparently this was, from what I've heard, this was a six pounder gun. Again, very typical of World War II. Some people said it could have been a four pounder. In my eyes, that looks like a six pounder. But just around the edges here, there's uh, more ammunition lockers. Very likely more for spent ammunition, I would have imagined, rather than the stuff that they were going to use which would have probably have come maybe even straight through. These could have been more hatches than actual ventilation. They could have been. They could have passed them through. You've got stairs either side of it. We're not going to attempt those ones. No. But, um, but yeah, these would have likely have had some sort of a door on them, possibly. If it was for spent ammunition, maybe they wouldn't have fussed so much about it. it certainly looks like there was something here. But um, if you're wondering what all of this is on the top here, I don't know if you can see underneath, this is actually bitumen. And the whole gun emplacement, or well, the whole battery, was covered in all of this bitumen for camouflage. Because shiny concrete was a little bit of a giveaway to the Germans. So, uh, so that's what that is, isn't it? And what do we reckon this is? We're not really sure. No, we're not. <laughs> but it is moulded to something. So yeah. something was there maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that would have been. We're not 
overly sure, are we? No. If anybody knows, you know, by all means, let us know. Okay, so that's the gun battery. So what we're going to do is now, I think we'll put over to a bit more voiceover, to put into the voiceover, yes. and um, we'll have a bit more explaining. Yep, and we might take a little look at the other one, but we're not going to go in it because it's on the way out. Rubbish, all right, all right, let's go then. <laughs> Today Suffolk is largely known for its idyllic little villages and peaceful market towns. But during World War II, it was transformed into one of the most heavily fortified places in Great Britain, where defensive stop lines crisscrossed the countryside, littered with pillboxes and anti-tank ditches. And its beautiful beaches, once popular with day visitors, became scarred with miles of barbed wire and swathes of concrete gun emplacements where beach huts once stood. The effectiveness of all these precautions were never really put to the test, but the eventuality for which they were built never actually happened. So how effective they'd have been, had an invasion occurred, we'll never really know. But the few remaining structures that can be found, mainly now left to nature, are a reminder of the extent our country was willing to go to protect its land and the sacrifices our people made. Right, okay, so we're at the next part. This is the other part of the gun battery, and it is a complete and utter mess. It really, really yeah. is. It is actually identical to the other one anyway. Yeah, it is, absolutely. So a little point in showing you around. Yeah, so we've just thought we'd just come here, show you it. I will put scans in of how bad <laughs> this is. Yeah. But we're more, more concentrating on the other one, so I think what we'll do is we'll head over to the other one because it's got more interesting mm -hmm. features yeah, I and think. I think most of our scans will be from that but I thought we'd show you anyway just you know there's a, there is some features here that the other one doesn't have so I think still include some scans of that absolutely right. so this is the last part of the explore yeah I think we've shown you just about everything there is to see yeah um, you know, quite an impressive. This one's a bit out of the way. Not overly known, is it? No, not at Except all. Except by the fly tippers, tippers yeah, as you and, can the, see. and the vandals. It's a real shame. We did actually have a little bit of a clean up just to try and smarten it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, it'd be nice if more of the community could do that, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. But, you know, they are what they are. But um, we are going to be finishing this video. But if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It always helps us out. It makes us very happy, and we do actually reply to all your comments yeah, if you want if you've got something to say if you've got some information to tell us please drop we, it down yeah, in the comments get some we'll, facebook instagram absolutely yeah. we're always always on we're it always to willing answer to learn a little bit more or answer some questions if we can so absolutely definitely do that and also if you want to see a little bit more from us which doesn't include on our youtube channel then check out our patreon there's a little link below if you want to dirt cheap that. it starts at a pound yeah so if you want to have a look yeah we appreciate that as well okay so but anyway we hope you've enjoyed this little look at this gun emplacement here in Suffolk. Suffolk. So, as from exploring with Emma Stu. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.